Hello everyone and welcome to the finals of the new in chess classic. It's Magnus Carlsen versus Hikaru Nakamura and sorry about no videos for the past few days but uh, we kind of had to relocate uh, very suddenly but we we're going to discuss that you know in a, a live stream I'm planning to have one uh, at uh, maybe even tomorrow so uh, you know you, you guys can ask some questions if you guys are interested in anything. I could have recorded some videos maybe yesterday or you know but uh, I only got to the couch here uh, today like uh, an hour ago I'm still uh, pretty pretty sweaty from all that uh, but I knew you guys wouldn't uh, want any videos without uh, Medo chilling in the background so you know I had to make the necessary adjustments so this is the first game that we're showing and since uh, I've just moved uh, pretty much all of my equipment I still don't know if I've plugged in everything correctly so sorry if uh, not everything is fully operational uh, hopefully that will get uh, you know fixed with maybe the <laughs> the second or the third video uh, but that being said, let's check it out and we're going to discuss the details uh, at some other point in time. But Magnus has the white pieces and he opens with d4. We have knight to f6 by Hikaru, uh, c6, we have e6, knight to c3, and now bishop to b4. Of course, going for the Nimzo Indian defense, which is uh, a very nice attempt, uh, always with black to uh, you know, play for, for more than a draw. It's a very sharp opening. And here, uh, over the course of time, like e3, the traditional line and queen to c2 the classical line have been the most popular and this is what magnus goes for he goes queen to c2 goes for the classical variation uh, we have castles by black and now a3 challenging black's strong dark square bishop we have captures here and now queen captures there are some games where b captures was played but uh, very very few queen captures is the main idea here and now black strikes in the center with d5 and black wants to get uh uh, well, black basically wants to capture on c4, get the queen on c4, and then use the queen on c4 as a tempo, so he can play b6 and bishop to a6 with the attack on the queen, and that's what black uses in this line to, to kind of develop all of his pieces. So here, bishop to g5 by Magnus, and now d captures on c4. As planned, we have queen captures, and now b6, preparing the, the said move, but it's, uh, it's not a problem for white, this has been played many times. And while you could go for something like rook to c1 to go after the c7, pawn then white can just go h6 and if for example captures captures uh, you still can't capture on c7 because the d4 pawn will be hanging and this is perfectly fine for black even even better so instead rook to d1 this is the main move here and now bishop to a6 as planned so queen to a4 now preventing the knight from being developed because the bishop would hang uh, and h6 asking do you want to capture which would only help me develop uh, or do you want to go back so here bishop to h4 this is best and queen to e7 for the moment uh, keeping this pin because you can't really move the queen anywhere else then uh, you allow uh, black uh, white to open up your king side so knight to f3 white still needs to finish development because his king is still in the center of the board we have rook to d8 uh, and now comes e3 offering the trade of light square bishops uh, we have bishop captures and now rook captures. So now white will not be able to castle or rather will not be able to castle in a traditional way. But of course you will be able to... Uh, the castle artificially which is what magnus is going for so here we have c5 this is always black's plan pretty much in in such lines we have d captures on c5 rook captures on d1 and now this position has been reached i think like maybe 15 times maybe 13 i don't know uh, something something like that and the queen captures on d1 is the move that has always been played here and interestingly hikaru had it against shakhtar mamedyarov mamedyarov of course also captured with the queen here uh, it was in norway chess in 2018 and the the game ended in a draw but here magnus prepared something special he played king captures on d1 this has never been played and it is now as of move 16 that we have a completely new game so let's see what magnus uh, <laughs> uh will do with his king on d1 uh but you know it's a new move so very very exciting so hikaru immediately strikes with the g5 he wants to unpin here now the, both the queen and knight are uh, ready to move bishop to g3 and now queen captures on c5 you didn't want to do this uh, uh, before because then you allow uh, white to open up your king side king to d2 now this is uh, carlson's plan now he wants to bring the rook into the game and artificially castle so knight b to d7 you still need to bring your other pieces into the game a very principled idea 
uh, and now comes rook to c1, attacking the queen, queen d5 check, and now king to e2. And here Hikaru went knight to c5, and this is kind of the... Uh, the moment I think uh, why everyone plays queen captures on d1 in that position instead of king captures because here uh, it seems that the g4 is best but I guess uh, you know uh, it's not winning for black or anything it's just that black might get some sort of an edge here maybe and then for example knight to e1 and then after rook to d8 it's similar like what happened in the game but then if white tries to exchange queens for example with queen to c4 then you freed up the g5 square for your queen and then you can continue pushing because nothing is really you know wrong with black's position you can uh, just you know play play whatever you want uh, but okay uh hikaru went without this he played knight to c5 right away but now magnus has queen to c4 and now the queen doesn't really have uh, all that uh, many many good squares uh, queen offer is uh, uh, on the board if you try something like queen to a f5 then you allow certain jumps like knight to d4 with an attack on the queen and uh, it's a it's a, a rapid game you don't really have all that much time uh, to uh, try this uh, i still have c so sorry about that uh, as i've been covering the candidates tournaments let me just uh, quickly fix that i know you guys are uh, always weirded out by that so just give me a second here there we go all right uh all right there we go nice all right so we've we've covered that and uh now instead of that after queen to c4 we have rook to d8 by hikaru and now comes queen captures on d5 magnus trades here and now it doesn't matter that his king is in the center of the board uh in fact it is more than welcome uh let me just uh fix something really quickly uh, uh, as I'm as I'm showing the game uh, wow sorry about that uh, as I'm showing the game I'm realizing things that I've forgotten as I haven't recorded for for the past three days but okay queen c4 we have rook to d8 magnus trades captures and now knight captures on d5 we have knight to d4 uh, and now comes a5 so uh, what do you play here uh, we have rook to c4 by Magnus and now rook to d7. We have f3, taking away all of these squares from Hikaru's knights. Uh, and now uh, we have a4. Uh, it's a very nice idea. At some point, if this knight moves, you will always have the b3 square for your knight. And, uh, well, you just uh, keep the white b2 pawn uh, in there. So it's a backwards pawn for the rest of the game. It, it could be a very, very uh, big weakness. So here we have knight to b5 by Magnus. And now comes f6 by Hikaru. We have e4 chasing away this knight. And now knight back to e7. And here Magnus throws in bishop to c7. Bishop to d6 is also very nice. Puts pressure on both this knight so the rook doesn't really uh have any uh, any squares to go to uh and also you are just threatening to win a pawn with bishop captures but magnus decides to go for this pawn instead uh and it's very interesting how hikaru uh hikaru uh defends it he goes knight to g6 first now uh you can't really uh, go after the pawn right away uh uh, because if uh, you go, for example, uh, uh, bishop captures here, then knight to f4 check, and this is now very ugly, because this pawn is hanging, and if you go uh, defended with something like king to f2, then you allow rook to d2, then this pawn falls, and it's just a very, very ugly position. So Magnus has to play g3 first, take away the f4 square from Hikaru's knight, and now knight to e5. Again, uh, the rook is under attack and now instead of going for this pawn so that's why maybe bishop to d6 was better now magnus uh, decides to trade on e5 so we have captures captures and knight back to c3 uh, we have knight to b3 finally getting to that square uh, that, that we discussed uh, and now comes knight captures on a4 grabbing that pawn and now b5 so you don't win a piece because there's always rook to c8 check, king to f7, and now knight to c, uh, sorry, uh, knight to c5, offering a trade of knights. Uh, we have rook to d2 with check, king to e3, and now, of course, you defend the knight with rook captures on b2. This is how Hikaru uh, grabs the pawn. Rook to c7 with check, king to e8, and now knight captures on e6. And now the black king isn't in a, in a great position, but uh, the black rook, on the other hand, is, uh, well... Uh, ready to gobble up a lot of pawns here so rook captures on h2 uh, we have rook to b7 going after the b5 pawn and now knight to c1 uh, magnus strikes here with f4 
uh, and Hikaru trades here. Uh, of course, you can't. You have to play f4. F4 is uh, a must move here. If you try something like rook capture some b5, rook to e2 is checkmate. So you have to, you know, uh, take care of stuff like that. So instead, we have f4, and now g captures on f4. We have g captures on f4, and now rook to h3 with check going after the a3 pawn. King to d2 attacking the knight. Now comes knight b3 check. King to c2. So now the knight is in the way. Uh, the pawn cannot be captured and knight to a5 now attacking Carlsen's rook. Rook captures on b5 and now knight to c4. Uh, so what do you do here? Uh, we have rook to b4 again chasing back the knight and now knight to e3 check. King d2 uh, and now e captures on f4. So what do you play here? Here uh, we have a4 uh, starting to push this uh, this pass pawn. Uh, you could go after the, the pawn here, but if you play knight captures on f4, then there's knight to f1 with check. And if king to e1, for example, you can go rook captures on a3. And now the problem is if the king captures knight, then just check and you win back the knight and it's an instant draw. So Magnus starts pushing the pass pawn uh, and now comes knight to g2. Uh, we have e5, and now uh, you see what Magnus is trying to do. He's trying to create a mating net uh, by using the knight and the pawn. You'll see what what uh, what his plan is. Uh, but he's extremely low on the clock. He has 30 seconds on the clock, whereas Hikaru has almost three minutes on the clock. So here we have f3. Uh, Hikaru is also very close to queen in his pawn, and now knight to g7 with check. King to f8, and this king to f8 is... Uh, and not the, the most precise way. King to f7 is better because you simply take away this square from the pawn. Hikaru played king to f8 and this allowed Magnus this instant knight to f5. And this is now a problem uh, because uh, here the knight is covering these two squares. If you push the pawn here, then the pawn covers this square and the king will not be able to escape. You will get checkmated. So here there is only one move that saves Hikaru. So feel free to pause the video here and try to find this. Uh, the only move Hikaru has not to lose this game. Uh, well, I give you a couple of seconds. So, uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on not doing anything weird like rook to h5. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's f2. This is how you save the game. And now the problem is, well, uh, <laughs> uh, of course, if, if you go after the knight, then uh, just rook to b8 check. I know you guys are wondering about this. King f7 and now e6. This is the problem. And now if you capture it, then you lose the rook. And if you don't capture, it doesn't really matter, then we just uh, give up the knight. Just e7, the pawn is nicely guarded by the knight and uh, white is just queening. There is nothing black can do here. So Hikaru finds it, he plays f2, he spent some minute and a half here. So he also got very low on time. Magnus played e6, now threatening checkmate, but now Hikaru finds the move. Of course, not f1 queen, because then this is checkmate. Rook to d3 with check. That's the good stuff because now if you capture it, then uh, f1 queen, uh, you, this comes with check and now Magnus is lost. So after rook d3 check, king to e2 was played and now of course f1 queen. Hikaru plays everything perfectly. King captures and now rook f3 check. Going after the knight here, we have captures, captures and now rook to b5. Hoping for a rook trade, then of course the pawn, uh, king and pawn endgame would be winning. But of course just rook to f4. Uh, Magnus plays rook to a5. You want to have your rook behind the pass pawn, but in front of it is also kind of good. Uh, so here king e7 going after the pawn and rook a6 defending both pawns. But now h5. Hikaru also starts pushing his pass pawn. We have a5 and now rook to a4. So the problem uh, for Magnus is that he is up a pawn but his king is not uh, in, in this game at all. So here uh, we have king to h3. Now comes h4. Hikaru nicely defends that pawn as well. Uh, we have rook to a8. Magnus prepares to push the pawn but now just king captures on e6. Now the material is equal. We have e6 king to to d7, a7, and now king to c7. Hikaru is going after the pawn. Uh, we have rook to h8. That's not an h8. Rook to h8. And now, of course, comes rook captures on a7. Magnus uh, delivers check. He will pick up the rook, but it's not a problem. Just captures, captures, and captures. And it was in this position that, uh, of course, uh, the game ended in a draw due to insufficient material, which some of you uh, probably caught a glimpse of because I accidentally showed the disposition uh, a few minutes ago. So sorry about that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it will take me a few videos to get back into the... Uh, you know, into the mood.
uh, but yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about no videos for the last three days, but we really had a madness with uh, all of the moving and the everything. But uh, I, I hope uh, everything is nicely set up. Uh, I will uh, be improving the background uh, with every video. So I really, uh, you know, tried my best to, to get uh, everything done uh, until the finals. But, uh, you know, it, it was not easy. Uh, it's impossible to, you know, just move stuff from one place to another. Not impossible, but it's, you know, not, not very simple. Uh, and I knew you guys would not tolerate if uh, if uh, Meadow's couch was not you know ready for him, so so he can just uh, chill. Uh, but also, uh, I've acquired this very nice new camera. I still I, I'm still not going to use it. I'm going to use it for some ideas. Uh, for example, you can see here that it's uh, although it's a very very crisp. It's not a pretty sight, I know, but it's you know the the quality is uh, you know pretty amazing. This is actually me in 4K, so. Uh, if, if you guys uh, ever wondered what I look like in 4K, this is me. Uh, but yeah, for some announcements and uh, you know, for something that uh, I will be talking about, maybe discussing that is not directly related to the current situation on the board, I might be using uh, uh, this uh, this uh, this camera as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, like I said, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really, uh, Magnus did prepare with that King to D1 move, but Hikaru, uh, you know, uh, uh, did everything uh, everything precisely, and he he probably could have seized a better position at some points, but in the end, he he found the only move that f2 move that ensured him a draw and after that it was just you know and it didn't take him a lot this f2 move it, it took him like a minute maybe a minute and a half and you know uh, because this is scary i mean uh you know people people would uh, a lot of people would lose here finding f2 here is very 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 uh, very nice uh, but yeah once again hope you guys enjoyed it sorry about <laughs> no videos for the past three days but we are now back uh, back at it uh, so yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, uh, I would like to thank uh, Andre Mitroshin, uh, David Meininger, uh, Halbert Jazerbowski, uh, Dan Madge, and Ishmael Rivera for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the new chess classic, checking up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. So thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day. And, you know, do comment if everything is okay with the sound, with the setup. You know, I, I, uh, I'm here to, you know, to learn. <laughs> uh, see you soon.